Welcome at Octopus. This is our video tutorial for doing a simple toner refill on an HP 410 laser toner cartridge. Our refill process has the following steps. First we create an opening to the toner storage chamber. Then we remove the toner powder that has remained in that chamber. Third step is to create an opening to the waste toner compartment. And we remove the waste toner from that compartment. After that the waste toner section is sealed again. Step number 6 is to fill new toner powder into the toner storage chamber. Step number 7 is to seal the toner storage again. Final step is to change the cartridge toner chip. For filling our HP 410 laser cartridge, we use a bottled refill toner. The quantity matches the cartridge's page yield. During refilling we wear a pair of rubber gloves. For making the openings in the cartridge's housing, we use a soldering iron with a hole making tool. The inner toner bag we cut open using an X-Acto knife. The openings in the cartridge housing we seal with rigid fabric tape. And a small set of pliers is helpful when changing the cartridge chip. Now let's start with the first step of our simple toner refill process. Give it some time and let the soldering iron heat up the hole making chick properly. The round hole making jig melts a round opening through the toner storage's upper lid. A special characteristic on the HP 410 laser toner cartridge is that the toner is stored in a toner bag. That bag is installed inside the toner storage compartment. Here you can see how we cut open the toner bag through the melted opening using the exacto knife. The inner toner bag is made from a strong fabric material. Thanks to that we can fold the edges of our cut aside to open up this cut. This helps to get the remaining toner out of the storage first and then the new refill toner into the bag. Please pay attention to point that fill port upwards all the time after you have filled new toner into the toner bag. This positioning prevents that refill toner is getting stuck between the bag and the cartridge housing when the fill port is closed. The second step is to empty the remaining toner from the toner storage. We strongly recommend to perform this action being outside of a room. The aim of the third step is to create the opening to the waste toner section. Therefore we have sealed the storage tank's opening. Then we turn the cartridge around and melt an opening into the laser cartridge bottom using the hole making jig. The waste toner section stores the excess toner that is not transferred onto paper during the print process. We recommend to empty the waste toner section. A full waste toner section prevents the removal of excess toner during the printing process and this finally results in a really bad printing quality. And as said before, please empty the toner while being outside. Step number 5 is to close the opening to the waste toner section. We use the previously mentioned fabric tape for that purpose. Make sure that the surface of the housing around the opening is free from toner. Then the tape will stick and seal properly. It is important that this opening is sealed very well as the waste toner section receives new waste toner when printing with the refilled cartridge. In step number 6 the new refill toner is filled. It is filled into the toner storage section of the laser toner cartridge. For filling the funnel that comes with the toner bottle is mounted on the bottle. The mouth of the funnel fits into the opening created by the hole making jig. To get the toner powder to a fluid state, shake the bottle just before filling. Close the funnel's opening with your thumb during shaking the bottle. Press the funnel into the fill port firmly and fill the complete toner from the bottle into the toner storage. Tap the cartridge onto your working area carefully to distribute the toner inside the storage. As soon as the full quantity of toner has been filled from the bottle into the cartridge we can move on to step 7 and seal the fill port again. First we fold back the edges on our cut into the toner bag. Once more we use the fabric tape, this time to close the opening to the toner storage section. 
Press the piece of fabric tape onto the cartridge housing firmly to make sure that the port is sealed tightly and lasting. And one more time we would like to mention, make sure to point this sealed opening always upwards when the cartridge is filled. This way no toner can get between the toner bag and the outer housing. And now we will conduct the final step of our toner refill. It's about time to exchange the old toner chip on the cartridge. The toner chip is held in its position by a small plastic hook. We use a small set of pliers to pry off this little piece of plastic. Then the toner chip can be pushed out of its holder. Please remember the alignment of the toner chip and make sure to install the new toner chip in the same alignment. A good way to remember the alignment is to take a picture of the old chip in its original place. To fix the new chip on the cartridge, double-sided tape is suitable. Or you can also apply a small drop of superglue to the chip's edges. Now our HP 410 laser toner cartridge is refilled and ready to be used again inside a HP laser printer. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. We hope that our video tutorial provides some useful information for you. And in case you would like to give positive feedback, hit the thumbs up button. For remaining questions and remarks, please use the comment functionality below the video.